Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you stopping in to check out my video. And we are here at Zandvoort with the Audi R8 Evo. And I had a request to uh, run the car here to see if I could get a setup for it. So, um, I've done a lot of other ones here, so I asked for the Audi. So, let's run through the setup here really quick. On the left front, I have 25 pounds of, for the left front tire, 25.4 for the left rear. And for the right side, I have 26.6 for front and rear. Toe on the front is negative 0.15. With the camber on the left front at negative 3.9. And the right front, three, negative 3.8. And the caster is 14. And on the rear, the toe is 0.25. With the camber on the left rear at negative 3. And on the right rear, negative 2.9. Electronics are 3 and 4. Fuel is 42 liters with the number one brake pad. Mechanical, I have three on the any roll bar, 64 for the brake bias, and 13 for the steer ratio. The wheel rate on the front is 174,000 with a 1,000 bump stop rate and a zero bump stop range. And on the rear, the wheel rate is 173,000 with a 500 bump stop rate and a two bump stop range on the left rear and a six bump stop range on the right rear. Any roll bar is two and the preload on the diff is 30. And pretty much almost most of this has been adjusted, most of it. And all of it, uh, all this has been adjusted pretty much too, almost all of it. Um, the dampeners on the front are 14, 20, 25, and 30. And on the rear it's 14, 20, 20, and 28. Now, I didn't touch any of these. It seems to be handling the bumps good, so. Arrow on the uh, right height in the front is 56, and on the rear it's 65, with a 4 rear wing and a 5 and a 3 on the brake ducts. And the front arrow variation is negative 2.2, and with the fuel load test, it actually stayed there, so um, that's really good. It must have the fuel really balanced, so when it comes off, the car stays, you know, the way it is, so that's really good. I like that. You don't see too many that are that way. So let's get the race started. I qualified 10th. Stay double five. Qualifying was a job because I can't kept getting balked and couldn't get any clean laps. I should have been probably in the top five or six, but I'll talk about, once we get going here, I'll talk about more of the both setups. Hopefully we can have a good race. I, I could use a really good race. One of those weekends where the good races are not, are hard to come by. Green light, we can look at. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the left, clear on the left. AI is at 97 and aggression is 96. Just like, just like normal. getting to like this Audi.
I think you guys are gonna I think everybody that tries to set up I think is really gonna like it this thing rails Really happy with it. I'm thinking doing my next championship with this. This car feels really good. What do y'all think? Please leave comments below. I mean, what do y'all think about you know, it's going to do a a, a sprint or an endurance, whichever, next. And a custom one. I just wonder what y'all thought about it. I was thinking, this de definitely one of the candidates. This thing Car on the left. awesome. Clear on the left. Well done, mate. You're fastest step so far. Car on the left. Man, alive! Clear on the left. Boy, I tell you what, they are aggressive. One thing I don't like about it is the seating position. I used to like it, but I feel like I'm sitting way down in the car or something. <laughs> it, feels, it feels weird, but that's ah, no biggie. I see I put the mirror up there for everybody. So you all can see what's going on behind me. A lot better than it did before. I want to thank everybody for you know our all subscribers for we got a thousand over a thousand. I want to say thank you. That's awesome. Any comments or feedback? Like I said, it's always welcome. I love talking about ACC or sim racing or real racing or whatever.
right. Awesome. Stoltz. Tires look good. Whoa. Well, that's a tough one. hard on the brakes I guess going in there Let's see what we can regroup here
closest them so far. That's better. push as hard as I can. Um, with the aggressive setup, I ran a 137 flat, pretty much, real close to it. That's the best that I could get out of it with the aggressive.
trying to get a multiplayer race in, but it's just I'm not having any luck this week. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have any or not. I'll try again next week if I don't. I have tried a bunch. It's just uh, nothing is working. <laughs> I mean, I'm having technical problems. Or I just mess up mostly. having some uh, earphone issues not too happy with them right now they're not that old Pushing hard. <laughs> this thing is awesome. up to fifth really really happy with that yep really happy with that oh man this thing fighting up through there a couple mis you know made a few mistakes but um, Stoltz got away with it on that one but um, still really happy with the car and the setup There's the one I'm using this time. I like the livery on that. It looks cool. Love his helmet. Man, that's a nice helmet right there. Man, wow. That looks cool. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice, really nice livery. And the timetables. There we go. We did uh, 13 laps. 136.69. Just two from the end was the fast lap. And there was a whole bunch of 36.70, 78. These were probably when I was fighting it out with other cars. Um, all right, there's a good... There's a tenth there. A tenth and a half. And there's another... Oh, about a half a tenth there. So, but yeah, I ran a uh, 136 in practice. I ran a 136 2, 2 8. 136 2 8. Really good time for me. I mean, that's a really good time for me. And I mean, that was with, you know, race fuel on it. And I wasn't a, you know, like a low fuel thing. I was like with 50 liters. So, um, I was really, really happy. And, you know, a gain probably about three quarters of a second from the aggressive like I said running right like a 37 flat 
So again, really, really happy, and the car is just rock solid. I mean, all the 13 laps and, you know, all the way to the end, it felt really, really good. So I hope you try it out, and um, I hope you, you know, give me some feedback and comments on it. Hopefully it'll work good for you. I sure, you know, sure hope you can get some good times out of it and uh, have some good races with it. And uh, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and uh, and uh, hit the bell so you get notified of the, uh, you know, new videos that come out. If you could share it, I'd really appreciate it. Anybody else that likes ACC content or, uh, you know, the really nice models that, you know, I collect. And I sure appreciate it. And I sure hope you all come back soon and you all take care. See ya.